Well, I think of music as a, as a form of storytelling. I mean, it's not necessarily literal, you know, it's like Dave goes to the store and gets abducted by aliens <laughs> or something, but, uh, you know, there's, there's the mood and there's emotion and there's, there's qualities that you hear that make you think of other things or make you feel a certain way. And certainly for me with this album, I, when I write these pieces, I'm definitely aware of the different emotional tones or colors that, that each piece suggests, or even within a piece that it might change multiple times. Uh, one of the pieces on the album is called Morning Will Come. And the inspiration for this piece was the experience of life when maybe a person is going through an ordeal and it seems like it will never end. Or to use the metaphor, it's like in the middle of the night and uh, you feel as though, well, you wonder, you doubt, you wonder, is this ever going to get better? And, you know, whether it's literally at nighttime or just in a figurative sense. So there's a story, in a sense, in that piece of that process. It is really exciting to go in and record the album and I've been preparing for a long time and just getting last minute changes and composing and preparing and rehearsing and it's been a bit of a whirlwind the last couple months really but all right here we go the faded morning <laughs> Feeling good looks like this. Feeling good looks like we're on an adventure, you know? And we're gonna take this adventure, you know? And right now it looks like smoke, because there's smoke out there. And we're doing this anyway. It is so uh, smoking. Waiting oh, yeah. Yeah. It is great to be back. It's cool, that's for sure. Assume we're ready. Okay, good. Yeah. This is crazy. I know. Crazy, crazy. There's three pages missing from the thing, so if Where I try. Are they? But well, it's over here. It's just not folded up. But I could, I could just go, just go from memory and then see how it goes. Guess what, gang? I think that means lunch.
I would have left the original. Like it just felt like it had more personality and sucked you in a little bit more. What do you think, honey? You're in the home stretch, sucks. Just to not grip quite as hard and just like be calm and just like let it come. Yeah, maybe. I feel like I'm definitely gripping. It was a great day. It was totally awesome. It was just a great experience being here at the studio, working with Michael Rosen, who is behind me, like taking down mics and stuff. Uh, it, I guess I was, um, I, I'm really glad we got it done. And I was a little hairy there for a second. I just realized I, I was I was getting tired and whatnot, but you, you can't take it for granted. You know, coming in one day and doing a whole album, uh, it's no easy feat. It was great to have good people to appreciate as I was playing. People could appreciate the music and the sound was really awesome. So this instrument, playing this, being here, hearing it in my headphones, totally magical. Sparkle magical. <laughs>